Welcome back to another YouTube upload and in today's video, guess what? First of all, I fixed my phone so now I have pr pretty much um, infinite storage. So I can record videos for about an hour or two. So that means we get the best content. You will, you will be getting the best content because now I can make like 20, 30 minute videos that you can sit and binge watch, you know? Cause that's cool. Uh, anyways, uh, but, that, but that's besides the point. Um, so now in today's video, um, I'm gonna be using semi-autos. Now, I love, I love semi-autos. Okay, okay, hold up. What the heck? Um, ninety-nine point nine percent of my blasters, including my Nexus Aeon, so as my two children, uh, and a bunch of other crap. I got a lot of pumps. I, I got a lot of pump actions. I rarely ever go out of, out of my way to buy a semi-automatic because I just don't know how to mod them. Well, actually, I do, but I'd rather not. I feel like pump-action platforms are just 10 times better than semi-automatic platforms, in my opinion. It's just a whole lot easier. You can do more with it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really an electrical guy. You know, I, I, I'm more of a, I'm a sit here and, you know, crap. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, but anyways, so I only have like three semi-automatics, but I'm going to go over them all. So first, I'm going to go over my least favorite. This is the Ultra 2. First of all, this already is bad, bad place to go, okay? bad place to go uh and this makes it even worse as 99.9 percent .9 you know ultra sucks their ammo sucks blasters suck just look inside and tell me if you think this is like worth your your buy the flywheels aren't even aligned correctly how do you mess that up how how do you mess that up this is why i don't buy semi-autos but it's like the only semi-automatic that has this problem but like i can't mod it and you know align it or something yeah it is it doesn't make any sense uh so that's that thing i don't like this i don't like this at all only reason i got this actually is because i, I like re revolvers and you know i had the spinny thing on the back so i was like nah, i'll buy it and i got some sonic screamers so i'll put some shooting fo footage in this video since i can record for who knows how long which is gonna be super cool. I can go out there to my range and. But it has a super comfy trigger. Well, actually, no. That was so wrong. This grip is terrible. Uh, but the trigger sound. It sounds like a. You know, like. It sounds super performancey in a way. Uh, besides that, this thing is terrible. I'm gonna give this a 2 out of 10. It sucks. Don't ever buy it unless you're planning on modding it. I'm planning on getting mine a mother freaking nine dart um, waffle head kit. Y you know, there's uh, I think Gavin Fuzzy has one or something like that. I'm not sure, but next uh, is gonna be my child. This is the only semi-automatic I will ever use my entire life. Okay, it's the Spectrum. Oh shoot, <laughs> this way. It's the Spectrum. I don't want to be pointed up here. But yeah, uh, I'll go over my mods in a second. Oh shoot, I dropped it on the ground. I gotta get the parts for it. Alright. This is gonna be a breath taker. I've done a lot to this. Hold on, let me turn, turn this on. That helps a little bit. Alright, so Spectrum base platform. We got uh, a hollow barrel. This I do not recommend doing this. Uh, this is, was a lot longer than I expected. Uh, the barrel starts from right here. And it ends up here. This is a this is from Worker themselves. Uh, I got this off out of darts. It's just a completely hollow barrel. There's no scar rifling in it, nothing like that. Uh, this is more of an aesthetics thing. Uh, I'm gonna cut this down about right here, and all this will be gone, and it'll just be this. Uh, so you know it'll uh, result in higher performance rates. You know, the longer your barrel is, the more drag your dart gets. You know. It's just gonna slow down your your bullet, so. Eh, there's not not a lot of pros to doing this, so I wouldn't recommend. 
But besides that, I did just some paint here. And I got some Out of Darts 3D printed switches. So we got the Out of Darts 3D printed rep switch. This is in uh, plasma black as well. This is in plasma black as well. This is the magazine release. And now these are uh, something that I would recommend uh, if you have a Spectrum. Some people like the Rev Trigger. I'm not a big fan of it. So, got the Out of Darts one. Mag release. You, you can get it if you want. Not really necessary. Uh, and they also have um, on their website another uh, thing for the battery thingy. Uh, whatever. Hand, hand screw for, for the battery tray. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we got the Villainator stock. The Villainator stock, if you guys don't know, is a teeny tiny bit longer than the fully extended Spectrum stock, which means it's a lot more com comfortable w when, when you're, you know, it's a whole lot more comfortable. And it's elevated a little bit more, so it's much uh, suitable for bigger people like me. I'm, I'm r really tall. Like, I, I don't know if you guys saw me, <laughs> but I'm like super, super, super tall. See, I can express myself in these videos now. Like, I, I, I can do things that I couldn't do before. I can genuinely express the real me in these 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 videos. This is amazing. Um, then we got the Worker 22. This is a 22-round Worker mag. Super old mag. Uh, stock bump pad on the bottom. You can take up to, where is it? Where is it at? 22 rounds. Stuff it in 23. I put it in 21. I like to keep my darts in as good condition as possible before they go. It looks pretty simple, uh, pretty clean. Sometimes I use the Busby 8 round mag, but that's just me. But I'm just going to run the Worker 22 for now. With, that, with this mag release, it re really just... So smooth. I would definitely recommend this mag release, to be totally honest with you. Uh, besides that, that's two semi-autos. We got one more to go. Now, this one is really iffy, but uh, I'll get it. Okay. Now, I have really mixed feelings about this one. Now, some of you know, um, once again, it's this brand. Okay. Now, I got this when I didn't really know much about this, this, this whole ha hobby thing. You know, I was just a kid who played games on, on the Xbox, right? So, um, long story short, this thing appeared. Now, it's it's gutted. You can tell this thing is gutted, right? Um, so, mods I've done to it. I tried to mod a semi-automatic. What I did is I took off that stupid barrel. It was about this long. It was giving so much drag. It was shooting like 60 FPS. For example, my modded Nexus shoots about 230-ish. Uh, my Aeon shoots about 230-ish too. They're, they're both shooting around 230, 230 220. Uh, for stock, uh, Nerf standard is 70. Stock Adventure Force standard for flywheelers is, I think, 100 or 90. Dart Zone is just killing it, man. Genuinely. But anyway, that's besides the point. We added a little latch back here to keep it from dropping off. So this is more of a... What, what did I just do? Uh, m more of a speedy, you know? Like, it's meant to be light, okay? Now this, with all this shell and crap, is actually much lighter than this. This is taking two more batteries. I also took out the uh, lock for the uh, trigger on Spectrum. But this one's full of safety. If you pull it back hard enough, you can go just snap it back. Yeah, if you pull it back hard enough, you just snap it back. Uh, you can even see all the crap going on in my stock. Once I pull it back, pause, 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 pause. Uh, but e either way, it's a. Uh, Pretty. I haven't even talked about the dang blaster yet. But anyways, you can uh, see obviously the pusher. You can see it on this side. 
you can see everything and it works i just don't have any batteries in it i mean shoot this one last because i dis dislike this one the most uh, just because it shoots so low fps but besides that it's super lightweight i can flick around corners with it i would usually run a worker 22 so i can just have a whole lot of ammo and just and I also kind of sticker bombed it a little bit. I got a whole bunch of stickers on it. Uh, besides that, I actually really like how this thing looks. To be totally honest with you, I kind of like how it looks. With the magazine in, you can see um, when the magazine goes in, and you can see our pusher. So that's pretty cool. Well, why did I get so blue right here? It's got so blue also. But, uh, yeah, I could probably add, like, a barrel, a little faux barrel. It stops about right here somewhere in this thing eventually. But I don't plan to really mod this besides uh, putting that, that barrel in and then get some batteries, and then that's it. So I'm about to fill this thing up with some batteries. I got the Ultra. I got, I mean, the Ultra 2 and the Spectrum with some batteries. So i going to get some batteries. We'll pause. We'll pause. Anyways, uh, I need some batteries. Shoot, I, I'll drop those on this. Ah, I'm blood. So we got a whole bunch of Dura cells. So we gotta get a screwdriver and we gotta unscrew this. Super easy. I wonder if you guys would actually watch like these really long videos. My average freaking view duration is like a minute and 20 something seconds. So I don't think no one's gonna sit here and watch watch a twenty minute video, you know. So who knows and who cares? Uh, so it takes four double A's, and lucky me, I uh, have acquired um, four double A's. Not saying they're all the same brand, but four double A's is four double A's. Okay, if it's a double A, it's gonna work. Okay. Uh, it's not revving. I'm scared. Uh, it's probably gonna blow up. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's probably gonna blow up eventually, but who, who really cares, you know? Who really cares? Alright. It's not revving. So, that makes me very scared. You can see it even has the batteries in it. You can see them. Like, you can see the batteries inside. Of the shell. It isn't that something. Wait, guys. Something's moving side to side. Something's moving. I don't know if that's the flywheel cage or something, but bro, I swear, there's like something about this thick just going side to side whenever I... You can probably hear it too. Oh, that's just the batteries. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to run that, but we'll just run these two, and I'll show you firing demo. Fill up some mags, call it a day. Now, I'm going to say one thing, and I'm going to say it very bravely as well. This is 50 cents, okay? This is 10 cents. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's sad. That's just so sad but sonic screamer loads right into the back now the loading I i'll give him that it feels pretty smooth it's pretty clean you just slide it right in it fits very tightly it's a very tight seal probably get some asmr up in here <laughs> I, I can low-key like make an actual asmr if i really wanted to I can look you make them, but it, it's loaded. You can see there's six rounds in one cylinder, and then you just. Well, I'm about side to do these firing demos. I'm taking my magazines and all like all that crap, and I'm just gonna go outside and I'm gonna go cry outside while I'm showing you because these things suck so bad. So I'm gonna cry at the same time. So this is pretty much like a dust cover, really, right? Yeah. That's that's really strange. Just the opposite way around. You have to open it and to fire. But if you closed it, you'd kill yourself. Okay. That's something to think about. 
Okay. Okay, uh, we have both of these pieces of absolute junk. Actually, the, the, this is absolute junk. I, I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, so we're going to start off with the worst first, as usual. Now, I'm going to show you where these rounds go. They're probably going to go about, tw like, like five feet. Like, they're probably not going to exit the flywheels. Look, the round's sitting in there staged. And as you can see, the flywheel is on the right side. On the camera, it looks like left side, but I can't mirror it yet. I don't know how to do that. So that sucks. So I'm going to send one off camera, though. I just want to see. Flat shot. That, that was terrible. That, that was terrible. It screamed, but it sucked. It was just terrible. All right. I got this piece of junk can see still got a few rounds in there got about five I'm send a little demo I, I'm gonna try to line you with the sights here so you can actually see where these rounds go they're actually going kind of far I maybe I might be be wrong actually. Those went I want to say angled up at the precision angle uh, as what most people call it. Uh, I want to say that was at least. Uh, let me see. So one Miata, two Miata. Each Miata is about 18 feet long, so that's about like five Miatas. So that's like I want to say 90 feet, about a 90 to 100 feet or something. Something around there. I'm um, collecting these pieces of 50 cents, so I could just collected a dollar, collected two dollars. Okay, I got two dollars and 50 cents right now in my hand. That's two dollars and 50 cents. You, you know what I can do with two dollars and 50 cents? That's a lot that I can do, but that's the best point. I'm pretty sure there's one in there. Okay, now we're gonna shoot the spectrum. The spectrum's what I've been waiting for the whole day. I'm full out of this thing, so. Okay, so most of you have been waiting for Spectrum. We got about 18 waffles. And then we should just do, 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 straight down. Okay, screw Ultra. I'm taking off the stock so I can get a camera angle. It doesn't have any recoil anyway, so I don't have to. Oh, there's no iron sights. So, that's cool. If you know what this is, you're an absolute freaking legend. But anyway, I could drop the mag right now and just, like, completely drop it. Hey, it has a shoe. Right. Uh, straight up, though. Let's go. I'm going to do an angle shot. See if I can get a real good angle. Okay, no, we can't do it that way. I'm doing it this, this way. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put the camera angle to a different way. How about that? I just mag dumped. So that, that was around 18 rounds. Now this one, I don't want to be the guy to say it, but I'm going to be the guy to say it, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, okay? And I'm going to say that for some reason my Ultra 2 might be hitting higher numbers than my Spectrum, and I say that just off a of range. I mean, it's probably not. It's probably because I have that faux barrel on. But either way, the uh, Ultra 2 did uh, achieve much uh, farther ranges. So I'll give it that for now until I shorten down the barrel or just take it off completely. I'll give it that temporarily. Because it's still not good at all. Because it, it, it chews up your darts. So, you know, we'll just chew them up and that's how that's going to go. But I'm going to put the stuff back inside and start the video again. So before I end off today's video, i got five more rounds and I'm really tired. So excuse me for sweating and crap. But I'm going to send off these five Sonic Screamers. And it got jammed. This is real footage, guys. First round, stuck in the flywheel. Let's try again.
Now it's not even revving because I didn't have the jam door. Watch this. Look. Look at this. This is how bad this thing really is. I'm showing you how bad this piece of junk really is. It's, it's crazy that this is even sellable. I have to put a piece of tape. I'm not even kidding you. There's a piece of tape in there for me. A piece of tape to hold the jam door down. This is this this is like real stuff. Hey. Look at that guy. Oh shoot. Anyways, I'm gonna take these five rounds out. Jam again. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. And it's not the dark, the ad dark's perfectly fine. What the heck? This is a terrible product. Terrible product. Terrible. Shouldn't even be able to be sold. You should buy the mongers. Now it feels like it hits hard, which is sad because it doesn't. So I'm really tired. Uh, this is like my first 20 minute video in almost a whole year. So it's, it's kind of like an annual thing going on. Um, uh, if, you, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, you, you have the option to like, subscribe, and turn up on notifications. If you don't, I completely understand that you don't want to do that. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, uh, anything else? Twitch, yep, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram link will always be in my about page. And goodbye.